The Heliodon animation is in fact a sun study of a few hours or of a longer period of time. It will be set by creating an action on the timeline. In the drawer, we select the sequence we wish to edit and look for its length on the timeline. Actions will be recorded, so we'll need to turn on the recording button. The stripes turn red, showing that the change of any parameter will be recorded. This action concerns the Heliodon, so open its inspector. At the time being, the sun stays still during the entire sequence with the highlighted parameters. Creating actions means defining key moments where the parameters change. The rest is done by Atlantis by interpolating the values. On the timeline, the position of the playhead selects a certain moment in time. In our case, the playhead is right at the beginning of the sequence for which the parameters are displayed in the inspector. The next key moment will be the last frame of the sequence. It can be selected by dragging the playhead over it. We will define the new parameter for it in the inspector. Changing the time along the day will result in a sun study of only a few hours. To make a full day, we need to change the date from the 15th to the 16th of June. Now the sun will perform a 24-hour cycle from 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. of the next day. On the timeline, we notice the new keyframes in these two moments we've just defined. The action was set, and we can turn off the recording mode. Back to the animation inspector. To avoid completely black frames while the sun is set, we might decide to activate some lights in the interior of the house. The light groups already exist, they only have to be activated for the current sequence. To make the alteration of interior lights and sunlight realistic, Atlantis has to calculate the sequence by using the automatic light adjustment method. It can be set in the rendering options dialog by unchecking the physical camera. In the same palette, you can also decide about the rendering size and whether you wish to calculate the entire sequence or only a part of the frames. The final rendering format will be calculated in Move format on Mac or AVI format on Windows. You can also ask for individual frames in TGA or JPEG. This is how the final sequence will look. The moving clouds and waves on the surface of the water complete the sequence with an even more realistic touch.